So I just got another one of those uh, Macintosh LC TDK power supplies um, in for repair. So, well, I just I just thought why not make a video about it. I'm going to change uh, I'm going to start changing four capacitors, three 270 microfarads and 156, which they are those ones. This, this, this and this. Got my soldering iron hot. Let's pick up this, the, the soldering pump and uh, let's begin. So the first one is this guy here. And just sit down nice and comfy. You can hear the electrolyte that, that uh, leaked boiling. Uh, sorry. Very interesting sound. Negative is pointing that way. All right, got it off. As you can see, just nice and corroded. Uh, just awful. Let's see if you can just get a better shot at it. Oh, it's quite difficult, but there's a lot of junk under it. So I'm just gonna pick up. By the way, this power supply was still working. Strangely enough, that amazes that amazed me. With such horrendously leaky capacitors, but as you can see, lots and lots of junk. Hopefully, this video won't turn out that long because if it does, it will take pretty much forever to upload. I live in Italy, so we've got very, very slow up speeds like 0.2 at best you know, put up one of the new ones it really takes very little time bend the leads flip this just pick my nice high quality solder and solder it down Oh, I got the wire a bit too tight for my soldering iron. Uh, let me just go ahead and pick up. Where is it? Oh, I've lost another tool. Oh, really? Oh, there it is. Let's just go ahead and cut, cut it out. All right. First is done. Uh, three more to go. And let's do this guy here, which is though which are those two, if I recall correctly. Hopefully, I don't screw it up. One. Ah, hate that. That smell. Oh, it's just awful. It's really, really, it's quite awful. Let me just get it out. Ooh, that was real nasty. Wow. It's a bit charmed at the end. I really gotta show it. Look at that. Oh, it's just disgusting. Oh, you can really see the damage. That's just awful. And mind you, it worked. Obviously, make sure that I solder those the correct way in. It's kind of tight, but it does fit. I didn't want it to buy the smaller ones because, well, they were a bit more expensive. So I just said, what the hell. I'll just find a way to get them on. So I did. Cut this. Cut that. And we've done number two. Right way in. Yeah, good. Two to go. Let's do this little guy here. It's uh, those two leads. Mm, no, actually not. Oh, yes, they are. Okay, I think I got it. wire is kind of bent okay good Let's get this thing out 
Oh, this one here, it's just disgusting, really. Even, it's even more disgusting than the other one. Just look at that junk. Isn't that awful? Let's see if we can get a bit of a close shot. Oh, I just I really hate it. So, so awful. Awful. Yeah. I'm still finding a way to hold the iPhone in place while recording. Still need to sort that out. Oh, it's gone all over the place. Mm, that's just disgusting. That's why you've got to recap them, even if the machine works, because. I think when this machine would stop, when this power supply would stop working, you would have a big puff. You should replace those Nichicons as well, because I've got one where one of those failed. But this one here doesn't, does seem to work, so actually it worked. So I think I will just replace those uh, famous Elna ones. Do you find in pretty much quite a lot of Apple power supplies actually from uh, even from even from the PowerBook ones I'll make sure that I do solder them right way in that would be quite stupid God, I just hate that smell so we're almost done, just one more. And they're all soldered right way in, good. So the last one is this guy here. Yep. One, two. So I'm just gonna turn it, get it off. Such a yeah, tight spot, and this is disgusting. Hopefully, you can see it as well. Tons and tons of junk. Mm. Oh well. Let's get this clean. Clean that real nice. We're almost done. Negative this way. And here it comes. Bend the leaves. Cut them and we are done. Nine minutes, my iPhone says. So, I'm just gonna put it back together and uh, we'll see if it worked. So, let's give that a test. Got my Fluke hooked up and let's check the voltages. Wow, very distorted bong. I think I. Uh, we've got some more broken traces, but let's. Uh, this is ground, hopefully. Minus five, which is always good. Yeah, five volts two. Twelve volts, solid. And five volts, also very good. I think it's, it's maybe overshooting a little bit actually. Also, twelve volts. It's a bit off. Twelve point two. Uh, 5 volt it's just spot on so and the machine it's running which means that it's a success now I just gotta find out why the audio is distorted but the power supply working just fine very good right I just cleaned the contacts both 
onto this uh, assembly and onto the motherboard. So let's see if now the audio gets uh, gets better. So I just go ahead, get this thing down. It's nice and in. Let's see. Crisp clear. Perfect. Now we've got a fully functional restored Macintosh LC. Thank you for watching.